Hi. All right, so the show is over. It is completed, and it is now behind me. Um, it seemed to be very successful. Um, the kids all seemed to have a good time. Um, Colin was in the first act, and he did such an amazing job. He was very proud of himself, and then sat in the front row and was very... Um, appreciative of all the other other acts and he clapped and he seemed to really be enjoying himself Megan and her girlfriends and her cousin they did their act and they did such a great job I was very proud of all the kids they all seemed to have um, had a good time and they they all in all were very respectful of the other acts which was great I'm glad it's done um you know, I didn't have to stay too long to help clean up. I didn't really have to stay at all because it was all handled. Last year, I was there until almost 10 o'clock. I got to leave at quarter of eight. Yay! Um, that's my cat. Um, what else? <clears throat> I got into a disagreement with my sister because I felt like her daughter was being rude. So I said something and my sister was angry at me because I was disciplining her child. I just told her child to, to, to wait two minutes and be respectful of the other students that sat and watched her. And my sister didn't like it. And I'm, you know what, I'm not even going to apologize. And, uh, you know, my good friend Callie said, it's not about apologizing. They're your family. And I said, I agree. I just, you know, I get kind of sick of seeing my niece kind of say mean things or get what she wants and be disrespectful to her mother or her family, and especially in front of my own children. I'm not saying my children are perfect, but I just, I don't like the way this little girl speaks to her mother and gets whatever she wants. Um, and I just don't want my children to think that it's okay. Um, so she's currently, after all the work that I put in with her daughter in the variety show, is not talking to me. And that's okay right now because I'm okay with it. Well, I'm not really okay with it, but I guess I just got to have to be. I'm going to stick to my guns because I'm sick and tired of me always being the person that says they're sorry. I can't do it all the time. And I think my sister has to realize that she's a little bit at fault on this one. But anyway, um, what else? So that's all done. I have to work tomorrow from 9 to 1 just very quick and easy and painless especially on a Saturday morning they usually go by very quickly because Saturday morning is generally when everybody comes in to buy birthday presents for the birthday party they're going to but it's also the day before Mother's Day so we should be pretty busy as well we have this new we and Starbucks have um, a new frappuccino slash latte whatever you want to call it and I want to say it's called caramel waffle cone you can either get it vanilla based or coffee based um I find that vanilla based is very very sweet but if you get the coffee based frappuccino it's delicious um, I haven't tried it in the latte form, which I, I'm a pretty much a sucker for a latte. I, um, I can be so basic with the, uh, van I like a vanilla soy latte with extra foam. Totally basic, but, um, we have some good ones. There's the small, the s'mores frappuccino. That is like a, we, we started it last year, um, in the cafe and also at Starbucks they have it. It is, um, it has marshmallow whipped cream that's freshly made in the store. And then it's got chocolate drizzle. And I want to say, I don't think it's, what is it, coffee base or vanilla base? I think it may be coffee base, but I could be wrong. But all I got to tell you is it's, I want to say the F word, but I'm trying to be good. It's it's really good, like really, really, really good. Um, we had this um, smoked butterscotch. Um, you could have that in the latte form or the frappuccino form, and that was quite tasty. I don't think we have that anymore. And then there was like a some sort of a honey one, and it was too sweet. I didn't like it. I like more of the winter flavors. Um, 
but this s'mores is delicious and this waffle cone is cool because it has a little waffle drip um, crumbles on the top. What else? Um, I'm upset now because I had been going to Dunkin' Donuts twice a day and I not a real big Dunkin' Donuts fan. I am a Starbucks girl. Um, but they had in the month of April, they had the 99 cents any size iced tea. You could either get green tea or black tea. And normally I get the black tea during the day, lemon two sugars large. I don't like my tea very um, sweet, but I like a hint of lemon. Um, so I would get that during the morning as opposed to drinking coffee because I've been so good with the, the not drinking a lot of coffee because um, I feel like it sours my stomach, but I love coffee. I drink coffee more in the winter. Um, and then at nighttime, I would get the green tea because there's no um, caffeine in it. I get the, the green tea um, because it was 99 cents. I could get a large, a huge thing of drink and drink two of them throughout the whole day and night, and it would be pretty good. But when I went, I didn't realize it was only for April and I went and I got a large and it was like two, 270 or something like that when I can go to work and go to the cafe and get like a either a, a passion tea which is delicious or they their green tea and their black tea are good too the iced teas and I want to say that I would get it for I could get a vente size and it was like a, a like a like a dollar fifty um, or you could get it mixed with the lemonade, like the green tea lemonade, I think is fantastic. I love that too. Um, listen to me, I'm talking about drinks and food and I'm starving. Um, yeah, I love, I love working in a place where we have a Starbucks and we get that wonderful work discount. It's 50% off in the cafe. So damn right, I'm going to be getting my Starbucks. And I get and when I have to go to real Starbucks and get something, I feel like they're robbing me. But I don't want, ever want to go into my work when I'm not working. Because that just sucks. <laughs> you know? So I generally, if I have to purchase any, purchase any books or magazines or stuff, I either do it um, on my lunch break or um, um, at the end of my shift. But I hope everybody's having a great day. And I'm, you know, I feel bad, Steph, that you don't feel good. I really do. I mean, you're such a beautiful person, but you look like you're so sick. And I, nobody likes to feel sick or have a bad tummy or any of that stuff. Um, believe me, I've been sick a few times and I don't like that feeling at all. I generally get terrible headaches. Um, but um, just to not feel good. It's just not fun, especially, you know, when it's coming to Mother's Day. And I know you're such a great mom. I hope you're feeling better, and I hope you, you're able to see um your kids this weekend and not feel yucky. And the rest of you, I hope that, I know that some of you have kids on Saturday or Sunday or whatever, or you do your Mother's Day stuff all weekend long. I hope the rest of you have a wonderful Mother's Day. I think the variety show for us was a great start to our Mother's Day weekend. I'm glad that my I have my mom here and she went to the variety show and watched my kids. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, and generally my mother-in-law goes too, but she doesn't get in from Florida until um, Sunday. So I probably won't get to see her on Mother's Day, which disappoints me a little. But my nephew graduated from the University of Alabama today, and I'm super excited for him. So my mother-in-law went there to watch that. So I hope all of you, I know I'll see, I know I will hear and speak with to you before Mother's Day, but in, in just in case I don't get to, I hope you all have a wonderful and well-deserved Mother's Day, and um, I'll talk to you later. Peace.